Well, hi. So, I uh, did not finish that video much yesterday. Like, I went to the parlor and I came back and then I went and walked for a little while because I felt like I should have been out for a little bit longer talking to them, but then I wasn't. So I was like, okay. So I went out for a little bit of walk. Um, so, like, where did I walk? Lunch walk? Oh no. Afternoon bike ride. Afternoon walk. Yeah, okay. I went to the Dunkin' Donuts. I went down to damn square. And then I walked back down the street and then went back up to where the bike was. It was about, mm, oh, I don't know, half a kilometer. It wasn't actually even that far, considering my bike rides were like six each. <laughs> Uh, or 7.68, because I went the wrong way. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm not sh putting that on camera today. I, so the words are, the, the, the decisions is, don't put any cream on it. Don't put any lotion on it. Don't put any itch cream on it. Don't do anything. Aaron says it's already looking better today. Um... That's fun and nice. Um, my body's pretty good at fighting off minor infections, so let's hope that's for the best. It's hell appealing right now. Anyways, so I'm gonna link a video up there. Uh, it goes to a channel I've been watching that's not entirely political, uh, but definitely of anarchist philosophy in the United States. I brought it up before, watched a Bo video, or bring it up on that one, or I bring up sort of the idea of burn it all down, uh, more on Facebook than on this channel. Beanie Wees. So, this most recent video, 16 hours ago at the time of this recording, is uh, let's talk about Portland and Trump's move. So, since Aaron and I are both originally from Portland, um, I figured I'd address this a little bit. Oh. That there was an occupied zone in Seattle, the CHOP, Capitol Hill Occupied Protest. Chaz, I think is, yeah, it's the Chaz. Oh, right, it'd be turned into CHOP from Chaz, because they wanted to not distract from Occupy. Anyways. And, so yeah. That got like, yeah, Seattle chop Chaz shut down by police. First person, there's a video here on YouTube that was July 2nd. It is now currently the 18th. Um, as is the 17th, so yesterday, there have been Roving bands of barely marked cops in unmarked vehicles rolling around in Portland grabbing protesters off the street. And I brought up before that I'm scared that um, certain people's livelihood is under attack in the states and that they could be picked up. I talked with Willie this morning about the whole thing because he shared something. He says he's barely even going to um, Portland unless he absolutely needs to. Um, and even then, he's pr I think he said he's even probably taking one of his parents if he absolutely has to, like for a doctor or anything like that. But most of the stuff is, <laughs> you can do a lot of the stuff uh, west of the West Hills um, pretty easily. There's a bunch of hospitals and stuff. He's not going over the mountains, <laughs> through the woods. And I'm thankful for that one, but there was a, a video on the damage report that was talking about a lady like, you know, does speak English. They're over here speaking Spanish, blah, blah, blah. That whole rigmarole. And she was super New, ha New Hampshire, super New Hampshire. Oh my God. It just, and, it made, and I commented kind of something funny that when Aaron and I went down to Georgia, I was like, I spoke to my husband in Dutch when we visited family in Georgia and we are both American citizens and we've only been living in Amsterdam for two years and we barely know Dutch. I mean, we know words, but mm -mm. I said a sentence to him 
that we regularly laugh at because it makes no literal sense and sounds funny. Ich weiß nicht, helas bindikas. The lady across the aisle at Olive Garden, regular viewers in room of this one, glared at me for the next 10 minutes, huffing and glaring. I started saying random other Dutch words like the ingredients of the soup, and her family got up and left. She left because some American white boy citizen was speaking another language in a nonsensical fashion. Did she know it was Dutch? Probably not. However, it, however, the G in Dutch is similar to a few sounds that come out of Arabic in many Americans' ears, so she probably thought <laughs> I was speak. I was probably just a terrorist speaking Arabic, and really all I said was minced meat for runderheart. Because Americans are crazy. And I got into a longer conversation, and someone who actually lives here in the Netherlands, apparently, um, on that comment, basically said, Oh, you should really just move over here. It sounds great. Just strike up a small business. And, yeah, come on. Come and live with us. Start a small business over here. You can probably stay without a problem. The world is way bigger than the States. And I'm like, well, it's not really a problem for me. Um, I mean, I've been, you know, living here since August 2018. Currently on Zeebrugger Island, and I play American football in Hilversum. Uh I kind of have a small business on a YouTube channel, but right now we're in my husband's knowledge migrant visa, and it makes me kind of wonder if I'm going to be if there is a weird way to like shoehorn Willie over here. I mean, you'd have to go probably much more on his own bit. If that makes any sense, like he could probably. I don't know. I don't think there is. It's way too hiccupy. But if the Dutch know how to skirt a rule, it's there. That's not. A, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, if anybody knows anything about those rules, I mean, I've even been looking at the extensive nature of the uh, refugee clause, um, considering he is in a targeted demographic for racial persecution to an extent, and if things get worse, it's, I think, but the thing is, is like, can you get a refugee from a disease-torn country? You'd have to ask at a port of entry, which means he'd have to be able to afford a flight over here with, like, barely anything. I don't even know if he'd want that. It's really not for everyone. I'm kind of surprised I did it. If you have any questions, I'll prob once more information comes out about Portland, I'll probably give another update of it. But as we're from Portland, and that's very specifically about Portland, I figured um, I'd do that. If you guys want to give the video a watch up there, he uh, Bo explains a heck, of, a heck of a lot more about it than I do, um, and a lot more political theater. I, I never really studied politics, so yeah. We'll chat with you guys later, tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, this thing is, yeah, <laughs> it is peeling all hell and back. Um, if you guys really do want to say it, it's like, it's not like bleeding and gross, it's not a gore factor, but it's, ugh.